good and Josagi here and today we're doing another unboxing. Today we're unboxing Aizawa Shota, also known as Eraserhead, from the anime My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia is an anime where people in this world have an assortment of abilities known as have an assortment of abilities. Starting over. Hello everyone, oh then Osagi here, and today we're doing another unboxing. Today we're unboxing Aizawa Shota, also known as Eraserhead, from the anime My Hero Academia. My Hero, My Hero Academia is an anime where the people in this world have an assortment of abilities known as quirks, and as a result, some people have taken these abilities and are using them for their own personal gain. And as a result, the profession known as a profession of people known as heroes have sprouted up. In this world, people have to train to become heroes, and as a result, there are high schools that specialize in teaching children to become heroes. And that's where our figurine today comes from. Aizawa Shoto, also known as Eraserhead, is a, is a teacher at the Hero Academy known as UA. So, without further ado, let's begin unboxing. So, this figurine, I believe, came out early this year, possibly late last year. As per usual, let's give him a bit of a spin. box was damaged a bit, I think, possibly in transit. But this is a figurine by Ban Presto. I've bought uh, a number of figurines from this company. They tend to be really good. They're really good figurines that are really inexpensive. Nothing too spectacular. Now, this particular hero, his ability, he has the ability to erase quirks. So every time his eyes turn red and his hair starts to float up, he can erase the person's quirk. And he can do it for as long as he can keep his eyes open. So, let's begin unboxing. So I'm put a tape there. Yeah, should have been a bit more prepared. Safety. Uh, is it more tape? Ugh. And slice in there. Slice in there. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Here. Okay, so Van Pesto's figurines typically come like this, like in plastic bags, in different compartments. Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's just take this out piece by piece. Base. This piece is uh, okay, here we have his scarf. He fights with, like, I guess, I don't want to call it a tech. Well, yes, I guess a tactical type scarf. He uses it uh, along with his quirk. I believe it's made of some type of carbon type material that stretches. I'm probably completely wrong about it. I can't really remember. Okay. Okay. It's a good size. Make sure, make sure. 
dat in mijn lief het beste. Bellen. Bellen. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, did they make this together, Panda? Or who's distributing? No, Funimation's distributing. Huh, okay. <laughs> Be careful his hair sticking up. Don't wanna pull, don't wanna pull up a spike here. There. Oh, missed a piece. Okay. Is that everything? That's everything. Let's put this to the side. All right, let's put him together. inside his hand as well. So. <laughs> oh, this is a uh... And there we go. Oh, oh, -hoo -hoo. good job. <laughs> All righty. Put you right there in the center. Let's do a little camera adjusting. And yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is supposed to loop up a bit more, but I don't want to touch it. But I, I like this a lot. Uh, Eraserhead is definitely one of my favorite characters in My Hero Academia. He's just an all-around cool character. And originally when this line came out, I was hesitant to get him. Um, I typically like figurines that are around, unless they're fungal pops or nindoroids, I like them to be at least 9 inches tall. If they're smaller than that, uh, I hesitate a bit. But 
so I hesitated with buying this entire line because there's just other characters in My Hero Academia and they've been releasing more characters. Like I believe recently they released uh, Kirishima Ijiro, Red Riot. So, so far they've released Deku, Kachan, Ochako, and Shota. Oh, that's Shota. Shoto. I believe that's all they've released so far. They may release some more, I just haven't caught them yet. So I was kind of hesitant to buy any because they just seem so small. But this is really nice. This is a good size. He's not too tiny. Um, actually, you know what? You can do a good size comparison. One moment. Okay, and we're back. So like this. When I, this is a um, Trunks figurine that I got for Christmas one year and I made a mistake and I did not look at the dimensions. I thought he was probably about his size. So I don't like figurines that are this small. They just, they don't do anything for me, I guess. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with this figurine. This is actually a pretty cool figurine. I love it. And of course it was a gift. Like I love his pose. But I will definitely be getting a larger Trunks. And they can sit together. Actually, I want to get the purple hair Trunks. But, oh no! This is a good figurine. Let's get a little bit mm, close up here. You can see his red eyes. This is really cool that they added this extra feature. So this is this is a definitely a great buy. Um, right now, he's a, he is a bit difficult to purchase right now. I think maybe possibly because you know everything that's going on globally. Um, the only place I've been able to find him that I'm sure is genuine is Amazon. So if you're able to purchase him and you're interested in this type of figurine, I highly recommend him. He's really cool. Let's see if we can get a bit of a size on him. Oh! Uh, a little older. Well, I think we just do this about a little under a little over eight inches tall hmm. I believe the website today is around seven but regardless this is definitely a great buy I really hope they release in her um a present mic figurines so I can put them together oh I think I, they did release midnight she her figurine came out recently I have to definitely have to get her but Again, all in all, this is a really, really good figure. Again, I was hesitant to buy him, but I got him because I wasn't sure if Kotoku Kia, who does, um, who are doing, who did three of the figurines for My Hero Academia, Shoto, Deku, Deku Bakugo, and Ochako, so four. Um, they're a bit, they're bigger than the Brian Pesto figurines. So I was leaning more towards them, but this has definitely changed my mind. I'll definitely just buy Brian Pesto's figurines, which are a lot more affordable. I believe Ochako at one point was going for around $20, 20 to $30. So, and they're releasing um, both uniform, like school uniform, and their hero costumes. This is his hero costume and just his general <laughs> work uniform. So, well, all in all, this was a good buy. Again, this is Shoto Aizawa, or rather, Aizawa Shoto. Shoto. Aizawa Shota. For uh, Eraserhead from the anime My Hero Academia. And until next time, guys. Bye bye.